and welcome to our tutorial video on creating jobs in ESC. ESC provides you with the ability to create and track jobs so that you can accurately track all the costs and revenue associated with work you're doing for a customer. However, a job is not necessarily the same as a dispatch. A job is generally regarded as more of a project. This job may involve one or more technicians, quotes or invoices, a list of inventory parts, and may be spread out over a period of time. Whereas a dispatch usually means a single scheduled visit from one of your technicians for the purpose of repairing or performing maintenance on a customer's equipment. You'll find a job field on multiple modules throughout the program, such as the sales invoicing screen, the inner dispatches screen, and the purchase order screen, just to name a few. Adding the name of this job to any of these screens automatically ties that item into the job itself. For instance, an invoice will not reflect towards job totals until the job itself is selected in the job field of the sales invoicing screen. Now let's see how to work with jobs in ESC. We'll begin by opening the Setup Jobs screen from the Customer Info menu. The first field you'll see is the job name. You can either enter a name manually or click on the Assign Next Job Number button to populate the next available job number. Now select the customer and the location that this job is being performed for. While the customer field is mandatory, it is not necessary to select a location as there may not be a specific location involved in this job. This is the only necessary information that you need to add when creating a job, but there are plenty of other fields available to assist you. Feel free to fill in as many or as few as you wish. The supervisor and salesperson fields will provide you with a list of employees to choose from so that you can select the responsible parties in this job. The default department field lets you control what department all invoices under this job are credited to. Next is the status field. Here you can track the phases of the project itself from pending to open and closed. You can also track the start dates as well as the projected and actual end dates of the job. As with any other module in ESC, you'll also have space available for taking notes on this job by simply clicking on the Notes tab at the top of the screen. The Job Totals tab will display for you the total dollar figures that have been billed for this job so far. This is nice for an at-a-glance summary of the job in question, but what if you want more detail on the current standings of the job? For that, we'll need to check out the Job Sales Report, which can be found under the Sales and Reports menu. This report will lay it all out for you to view your original contract amount, your estimated costs, which come from any associated quotes, and your actual costs, which come from the invoices added to this job. Once the job has been completed, you'll want to mark the status of the job as closed. You'll still be able to wrap up any outstanding invoices, dispatches, or quotes that are associated to this job and still have their figures transferred to the job, even after it's closed. However, if you don't want any other information being transferred to this job, you'll need to deactivate the job. This can be done from the Setup Job screen by selecting the job in question and removing the active checkmark. You never want to delete a job because this will cause you to lose the information that has been associated to it. This concludes our tutorial on creating and tracking jobs in ESC. Thank you for watching.